How's it going everyone? Welcome to Let's Get Stringing. So as you can see, I have these two homemade DIY uh, owls of different thickness and length. I recently purchased one with wooden handle and it only comes up to about this high. The length, the handle is even... Here's the one with the wooden handle I was talking about in the middle and the two on the right are the ones I'm working on today, DIY style. I mean, I've got it in my car ready to get returned, but it only comes up to here, be below where, where I applied the tape. So um, that means that uh, compared to that one, these two are way too long. So it's not easy to work with when it's too long. It's, you know, maneuverability is not so good. I only needed to be maybe slightly longer than the wooden one. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these two off somewhere above where I have the tapes using my trusted gr grinder and cutter. So let's get going. First, let me press the button so this don't move. I'm gonna replace the grinding wheel with the metal cutting wheel. Four and a half inch metal cutoff. Don't think it matters which side to place the, this disc because we're not we're not using this surface we're using the edge to cut off the metal now it's tightened I'm going to plug the thing in and let's get cutting Oh, pretty good. I try to cut it at an angle already, so when I go ahead and grind it smooth, there's already an angle to go by. The only thing is, this tip is kind of sharp, so I only have to grind this down about maybe 45 degree angle. I mean, send it down about 45 degree angle. So, I'm gonna also do the same thing. To the sticker one right here. Matter of fact, I didn't even shorten it that much. Only maybe less than three quarters of an inch. Whatever, similar thing to this one. As you can see, it's way too long. Not that maneuverable for my hand right now. Let's get cutting.
you can see this one, I didn't do that smooth of a job. There's still some metal shreds that's sticking out because uh, as my grinding wheel is grinding up on it, it, it was slipping, it was slipping up and down. So I actually, I made ex excess cuts that uh, otherwise wouldn't be needed. So the thing is still quite hot, hot and sharp. Gonna wait for it to cool down. And in the meantime, I'll put my um, sending wheel on. I use the grinding wheel first. This 80 grit sending wheel, I'll use that last to send everything smooth. I'll use the grinding wheel to shape, shape the smooth shape, similar to what I did here, all the way around the tip, so it's somewhat smooth. Actually, use the same grinding wheel to grind my um, lawnmower blades. Actually, every once a year or two, works very well. Keeps the cutting edge sharp, so that uh, you have a clean cut on your grass blades. It's healthier for the grass. Um, you know, it gives a clean finish. So here we go. I should do the smaller one first. I won't worry about the length because. Uh, Compared to where this, the bottom of the tape is, that's where the other wooden dowel that I got from from Amazon, it only comes up to here. So even if I cut it to the top of the tape, it would still be longer than the wooden one, wooden uh, owl. go. I'm very happy with that. There's a sliding mark over here, uh, right there. Hopefully with the polishing wheel, I'll be able to polish that smooth. The rest of it looks very good, including the tip. Okay, I'll do the same thing to the larger one, the thicker one. happy with this one too this time I did not make any unnecessary scratches above the uh, beveled area and I think I got I grinded everything pretty symmetrically all around 365 degrees and now all that's needed is to just polish everywhere polish it smooth so let me change out the blade uh,
It doesn't seem to be as smooth as I had hoped it would be with the 80 grit. Maybe it's the light reflection. Um, you know, it just seems like there's a lot of different angles because obviously the disc only goes in the one plane. So I have the very, very the round angle with my hand by feel. And it's not, I didn't do such a perfect job. Maybe I gotta rotate a lot more than this. Or maybe rotate it quicker. That's as good as it's gonna get. And uh, just do the same thing to the smaller one. Doesn't take a whole lot. They're done. So you can see the tip doesn't look as coarse as uh, they previously were. So I'll grind it and sand it down smooth. And when I touch it by my finger, I don't feel no metal shards. Nothing, nothing that would even hurt my skin. Therefore, it should be saved for the strings. That's it. Thank you very much for watching. This has been an episode of DIY Tennis Stringing Owls. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe, really appreciate it. See you in the next video.